Hi! In this episode, I'm building a layered symbol in QGIS with SVG graphics. I've done this in previous episodes, but this time I want to show you a nice shortcut. I have a point layer with protected historic buildings in my hometown that I want to symbolize on the map. Using Wikipedia, I've found the sign I want to use, and check this out, it's already SVG. Just check the license to see if you can use it, and in this case it's public domain. But I'll still credit Wikipedia in my map layout. Just click to download the SVG, or right click and save as. In QGIS, I simply change the symbol to SVG marker, browse to the downloaded SVG file, and open it. I then only need to adjust the size of the symbol, and I'm done. Nice! If you can't find a file you can use, you could build it yourself. Basic geometries and some other shapes can easily be created in QGIS, but in my case I need the actual center symbol. You could draw this in Inkscape, but I found a free GIF bitmap with the symbol that I'm going to trace to vector format. Make sure you have the bitmap selected and start the trace. Fill symbols like this one can be traced by selecting grays and two scans, and remove the back background. Test it with the update button and press OK when you're done. Remove the original bitmap and save the file as plain SVG, not Inkscape SVG. I save the file in my QGIS SVG folder that I've defined earlier to work with the QGIS symbol library. Open the SVG file in a text editor. Remove the style part and add a section after path. This text will make it possible to change the fill and line color as well as outline width in QGIS. In QGIS, I can now use the SVG file to build a layered symbol together with simple geometries in the right colors. See you next time!